Hey everybody, Johnny Arclight here. Welcome back to Franbo. In the last episode, we found a bunch of the items needed for this clock. I'm not sure, let me check it out. So we only need a soap bar and a bottle with water. And I think I need to take out that Kamala that's outside the window. So we'll do that too. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go into this room here. This guy, talk to this weird dude here. I'm not done, mother. I'll take another bath after this one because I stink. Who told you that you stink? The creeps that walk on my skin. They are getting sick. They vomit every time they eat from my skin because I stink. I don't smell anything. What is the smell we're talking about? I stink like the most unpleasant stench. I believe you, but I can't smell it. Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. Can I take the soap? Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden and that would be the end. Uh, I don't like thinking about my heart's beat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? Terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright then, take it. It's all yours. Thanks. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads. They're beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. Oh my god, what the fuck? Thanks for the soap, though. Um, I need a bottle of water. Can I... Can I... Uh... Oh! Do I have everything? I do have everything. But, now... We're gonna make some water balloons, baby! <laughs> oh yeah. Um, was it in here or was it out there? I think it might have been in here. Let's take a look out this window. Oh no. Oh, there it is. You're welcome. Thanks for the stick. Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I hope you find it. I will. I will find it. Alright. So now that I have the stick, I can go in here take this elevator to the top and hopefully use the stick to grab a hold of the key excellent now I can open the last door and go on through take this key and use it on the bloody door and we'll go on in hi everybody creature from above get out from Mabuka's den you are not welcome excuse me but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Mabuka just Mabuka mother Mabuka for you arrogant little infant is that the tree talking to me and how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? He's not crazy. He's a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I s assume you have been into a thirst. I have. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you, you fragile little mind. will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Look at this guy, he's cute. Hello, goat, you look a bit like Rimmer. All right, um. Is this gonna be a lot of weird combining? Combine with 
this. Uh, I'm not really sure how to do this. Examine. I think I must. Why would Palantir just give me this? It must be important. How do I make the ECOG clock? Exactly. What? The actual. Fuck. What's that? Back of the giant cat. This must be for something important. It's quite dark in there. Wow, what a big cat. Uh, what? Oh, I can put these things in there. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay. Are you gonna give me the clock after I put them all in? There we go. Whoa. There it is. Got it. Okay, now we can wake up mother. Let's go wake up mama. Mama! Uh-oh. Open your eyes, mama. Oh, there she is. Beware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Oh, I just clicked out. I just clicked out of the game! Sorry. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Frenbo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den, that's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Rimmer. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. What power is that? I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence and the keepers of the key, or to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Volokas from Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the red seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Rimmer killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, Rambo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Rimmer killed my parents. I thought you were nice. Are you kidding me? She's the mother of darkness. She's curious. Now I understand it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Wow. Her eyes are bleeding. Okay, let's go! <laughs> what? I love the music. Interesting. Let's talk to these people. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where is my knitting needle, ah? Huh? Did you stab your little friends with it? What knitting needle? Are you... The dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ah, you little beast. Take a number, would you, and wait for your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. Great. Let's take a number, I guess. Number seven. It's locked. What number are you on? All right. If you don't wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat you. Ew, you eat children? Did you know that we children are actually immature? Hey, hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness. Don't you worry. 
right, whatever. Oh my, R, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Ha, huh, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I must have been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Um, excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, to become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't. My... Our eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Well... How do you not know? Can you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ugh, it's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's very true. But it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense cannot? Well, it helps to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense, anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all, then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, nah, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. Hmm, alright, thank you for nothing. <laughs> Waiting was fun at the beginning, now it's just boring. I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. My R eye is broken. The big eye told me that because she sees it all. The big eye? Like the one up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The big eye. What a big eye. What are you looking at? Can I stab it? Oh, damn. That would have been really messed up and really fucking cool. Hmm. take a number and wait for your turn. Uh, but I did take a number. Look. Um, trade you. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Uh, would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Uh, God. Alright, well, the big eye might be Akula. So let's go talk to Akula. I thought maybe that was the big eye. But I'm thinking now it's probably Akula. This one. It's a pretty big eye. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has the ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow! But is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket, yes. Crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I've been a very problematic point in my life. <laughs> uh, oh, everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty, Mr. Midnight's hugs, so the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Thurston and be happy. Oh, God. Lovely pain. So profound. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you for making me cry. I appreciate it. Alright. So... There you go. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. Ha ha, how lovely. <laughs> Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me that ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. There you go. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. A little sorrow for you. Oh, it's my turn. Now I can see the doctor. Now I can see the doctor. Alright, before I show the nurse my ticket, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do what you guys do best, and I will see you guys again in the next and possibly last episode of Franbo. Bye bye.